let's see what we got here, bros. I'm pretty sure it's our Bosch jigsaw and router and some parts for our new Sony A6300. Alright, what do we got? Yep, got our Bosch router. We're gonna put this in into a router lift. Make a bench with it too. Or a bench for the router lift to go in. And then we got a barrel grip Bosch jigsaw so we can jigsaw our, our masonite out and some other things while we we're gonna use the jigsaw to cut out our masonite we bought and then we'll cut out our shapes that we want shape them get a final we're happy with it and then we'll take that shape and take it to a friend at his laser shop and he'll scan them with his laser machine and then he'll put down 3 16 plate or quarter inch plate and then he'll have his machine laser cut out our masonite piece out of steel so we're going to use all this to mock up pieces so it'll be really nice because we won't have to hand fabricate things. At least we'll use this for our big pieces that won't fit on, on, on our plasma table. Frame plating, big three link bracketry, or four link bracketry. Because we'll build like four link suspension kits that will be the three link on the front of the truck and a four link on the back of the truck. We'll make one singular bracket that mounts on the frame for the front and rear suspension mounting points. We got a little charger here because this A6300 goes through batteries, especially when we're shooting in 4K. No wave power. <laughs> Came with two batteries. Got this for like $25 off Amazon. We'll see how these work. I wanted to get Sony batteries, but I didn't like the way the Sony A6300 battery charger just straight plugs into the wall. I don't like that. I want to be able to put it on my desk and then plug the power cords into it. Boom. Thought it'd come with, with a little like wall plugging piece, but uh, it didn't. That's okay. Plug it into my laptop. I got these little guys open. Got this off of its base, you know, just for regular routering stuff. So I got that out, so that's ready to go into our Jessam router lift. And here's our Bosch barrel grip jigsaw, which I thought would be a lot easier to use than a traditional grip jigsaw. Check it out. So next thing I have to do is get some three quarter inch birch and design a workbench that'll come up from here, from like to here. And then we'll put a router lift right here in it and build a little venturi beneath it so that way it'll suck all the dust out of it and we'll vacuum so it'll be safe. Here's our Jessam router lift right here. Get it over to the workbench and open it up. All right, here's our Jessam router lift. Let's get it open. This is awesome. It's not an Amazon box. Can't come through this one open. All 
Oh, it's super high quality. It's nice. More parts to it. Tools. Use one tool to make all the adjustments on it. I really like that about it. Yeah, look at that. That's so nice. It's not the big router lift, but I don't need that. I'm just cutting out three quarter or um, three sixteenths and quarter inch masonite, maybe some three eighths. Got some parts that fell out of it. Well, yeah, you know, these are the parts that will clamp your router into it. Got instructions. I actually need those. I've never used one of these before. Box out of here. Okay. So what our instructions want us to do here. So it gives you adjustments for each router you'll use. It'll tell you where to put these, these little blocks at. Not sure, but I'll figure it out in a minute. I'll show you guys what's up. Put it up on these little wooden blocks so that way it could extend all the way through the router bit piece. So now we put these in. This is what clamps it together. A little tweak from shipping. Boom. Oh, well, almost. Oh, there's some Allens right there. <laughs> That's, that's what I thought. All right, there we go. That part's done. We got our router installed, ready for our router table to be made, our bench, and our hole to be made to put it into. Get those out of the way. There we go. Brandon's on vacation this week, so when he gets back from vacation, 
or my brother-in-law is going to help me. We're gonna start building a, a bench like I showed you guys earlier. Well, then we'll put this into it, build a venturi beneath it so it'll suck all the grease off of it. This part goes here, I think. I know. Locks in there with this tool. Super high quality, this router lift. Jessa, man, I'm telling you. The next step is to build our workbench out of birch and then uh, sink this guy into it. And then we'll be able to start jigsawing out our frame gussets, our frame bracing out of masonite. Then we can router it perfect how we want it. And then we can take him to our friend at his laser shop and he'll trace out the masonite, put down some 3 16 plate, which is what we're gonna use the plate the frame with, because it's going to an eighth inch frame, we're not going to use quarter because of that. So then he'll put down some 3 16 steel and then cut out our pieces that we made with, with our router. And then we'll bring those home and weld them on, onto the truck. Thanks for hanging out. It's kind of a short video I know, but I wanted to get our Amazon box open and get, get our Bosch jigsaw out of it, our Bosch router, get our Jessam router lift out. I wanted to mount our jigsaw, or sorry, our router into our router lift which was pretty easy. Wasn't as hard as I thought it would be, just took me just a few minutes. And now I can design my workbench slash router table in my head. I go get some three quarter inch birch, probably need three or four sheets, and then I'll come back and get started to building a workbench. My brother-in-law is probably go go going to help me. Brandon's on, on, on his week vacay. Thanks for watching and hanging out with us today. It was a short video. Like and subscribe. Check us out at cougarhousegarage.com. Look at our Facebook forward slash Cougar House Garage and we are Cougar House Garage on Instagram. Follow us. We'll see you guys in the next video.